Hey, what's up everybody? Zach King here, and I'm going to show you a Motion 5 tutorial. This effect is going to give you a little bit more pop, maybe to the footage that's like interviews or something that's probably a little bit more boring or flat. And what I have here is an interview with my sister. This is the effect on, and here's it off. So you can see it's pretty raw footage. By the way, I have the project files. You can download this project and the footage for free. Just follow along with me. And this also works in Motion 4. The project files will not, but the concept crosses over just fine. With the effect on, this is what we get. It's uh, just using the lights that we have within Motion. And then we use a shape and replicator to create this little window pane effect. So download the footage. We'll start from scratch, and I'll show you how to get started. I've got a blank canvas to work with now, and let's go ahead and hit Command J. That opens your project properties pane, and I'm going to change my width to 1280 to 720 because that's the size of the video footage that I've got for you. I've got the motion lighting footage right here, so I'm going to drop that in. Playing through the shot, it's, it's pretty bland, nothing special. I mean, my sister's special, but I mean, lighting-wise, it's, it's pretty boring. So let's make this pop a little bit. Let's go up to Object, New Light. Shift Command L will work fine and it'll prompt us to switch 3D. We'll do that. You see your light was dropped in here. If you pulled it back in Z space, you'll see it has an effect on the video. And you can move this light up or down, do whatever you want. But if you come over to your inspector, we're going to want to adjust the properties under the light tab. So, light controls, let's change the light type to an ambient for this first light. We'll turn the intensity down. Next, let's throw in one more light, Shift Command L, start learning key commands. And this light's going to be our spotlight, so instead let's move this to spot. It's really direct. We're going to bump this up to about 200, you can go 250 or something like that. And then come down to spot options right here. And your cone angle, you'll see if I adjust this, the larger it gets, the wider it goes. And it kind of almost it creates a feather. So the cone angle, let's open it up. So let's take this somewhere around 70 and then soft edges. So let's try something like 10. And we can still move this around. Depending on your footage, these numbers will change. Just play around with them. One thing I'm noticing too with the footage itself, I think you can go ahead and color correct a lot of footage right away with the filters tab. Go to color correction and you've got this levels and I usually throw this on all my footage. Usually something needs an adjustment. So what I like to do is pull this up on the Instagram so we get darker blacks and that'll help this effect too because you've got more contrast. Maybe we can select this light, the one we just added, move it up, put a bit more on her. And then what we're gonna do is just take a shape, let's zoom out and select your rectangle tool and draw a line all the way across make sure it goes outside the other side of the canvas we've got a beautiful line okay well it's, it's nothing really yet what you can do is turn it to match your wall angle so something like this probably is right there I'm gonna adjust the feather let's make it blur it out a little bit Make sure this is starting at the beginning, so hit I. Let's hit the replicator tool down here, right here. L is the key command. And you'll see we've got, if I got this, all these different boxes, but we don't want that. We want the pattern of line. So go to shape, line. That makes it so we have a line. I can drag it out. But if you want more of these little points, that's what they call them, you can drag this up here, get as many as you want. And voila, there is your blinds. Maybe you want to adjust the size of the line, though. You did the wrong size in the beginning. Go to your original, and then just select it, and you can make it smaller. You can adjust the feather on that, and it affects all of them. Now, how you get it to blend well, select your replicator, and change the blend mode here to multiply. And it looks kind of funky in 3D space because it's actually not being lit by the entire light. So that means in 3D space, since this is now a 3D scene, we need to pull it back towards us and it lights everything so that might mean you need to change your cone angle a little bit for me I'm actually not going to adjust anything maybe move it off her the intensity I'm gonna bring that down maybe something like 200 
and see how it's going across her face I actually I don't like that look so for me what I did is I pulled the replicator and I moved it off to the side right about here looking at this effect what we have now I would grab my original rectangle here let's adjust the feather bump it up because we're gonna make it a little bit smaller like this and then bring down the opacity that'll help blend it into the walls make it look natural looks like we need to add a few more points on the replicator as well so let's add a bunch of points we can drag this open something like this and then I'm gonna duplicate command D and let's just drag it on the other side so almost as if we don't want the blinds crossing her you could but I think this is better on the eye here if we play through the scene looks a lot more natural so I don't know what this effect is really called but that is a way to make your interviews more exciting by the way if you haven't downloaded the brand new movie voice pack it's completely free I, I recorded with some professional voiceover artists and it's on my website it's called movie voice so go to finalcutking.com download that if you're a filmmaker you'll probably love it it's a pack of like hundreds of lines pre-recorded like the epic coming soon this summer that kind of stuff and that's why I'm not a voiceover artist for trailers okay anyway I'll see you guys in another video tutorial leave comments below if you have questions or if you have a specific effect you want to see done in motion I'm Zach King I'll see you in the next video tutorial Let's <laughs> go.